this is our annual Peach State Overland to Cure ALS ride. So, unfortunately, a lot of us have been closely impacted by ALS throughout the uh, throughout the years. We're out here trying to raise money um, so that the uh, the researchers can use that to find a cure, so that um, all the other families out there that are kind of staring down the barrel of ALS like we were earlier this year don't have to go through that same thing. So. Uh, tonight, we had our top contributors come out, or last night actually, we had our top contributors come out um, for a special Sarcraft class. They got to do um, blade craft, so learning all about the different knife um, grinds and what the different knives are used for and how to maintain your knife. That was something really interesting to me in particular. Just, there's so many different types of knives, different coatings, um, different ways to sharpen them. But yeah, it was really neat. We were under the stars for the class because we all got in a little bit late. Had a nice campfire, some uh, headlamps, and a lantern. Just kind of doing it campfire style. It was pretty great. So we are um, getting going this morning. Got in last night here at Oakie Woods WMA. Just outside of Warner Robins. If you know where um, Warner Robins Air Force Base is, we're probably about 10 to 15 minutes from the base. So um, we're out here this weekend tackling a portion of the Georgia Adventure Trail, which was, um, it's a north to south, south to north route through the entire state of Georgia, from Florida to North Carolina, created by our friend Tony. Um, so the route's still in development, but uh, we're tackling part of it this weekend um, on our third annual expedition to raise money for the Georgia ALS Association. All right, let's hit it. Well, it looks like we've come across a, a local that's gotten this truck stuck and uh, there's not really a good way around without sliding into them. We found uh, one truck was past him and we've got a second truck past him as anchor points. What happens to we were uh, heading down the trail, found somebody that got stuck last night at 11 p.m. So we're equipped to get him out. They were having a lot of trouble. He's up to the frame in this mud hole. So we're gonna try to double winch him out. And if that doesn't work, we will uh, was lucky. get out the snatch blocks. Yeah, I was lucky for a second. And I wasn't. All right. Next. 
new plan. My winch is broken. So uh, we're gonna put a snatch block on Andrew's winch, which will give him a lot more strength, like a giant pulley. So that should be roughly equivalent to the two of us pulling at the same time. And I may just be a boat anchor in the back for him so he doesn't slide. Should be interesting. color shirt yeah it's called drenched it's just come in this dial it hugs you very nicely lays on very flat wicks away the uh, wicks actually on to you the water so winching ensued and then you got poured on well I got up I think two others got up that little hill Then the torrential downpour came. And we started trying to pull people with straps. And then people couldn't even drive up the hill without straps. Yeah. So we got out the max tracks, we got out some other traction boards, we had people with trailers, so we had to hook them up with a winch line. <laughs> Of, uh, recovery training. <laughs> Alright, so Dan 
went back down um, with a couple of the other guys and he slid himself into a ditch. So um, Andrew is headed around um, to winch him and I'm going to head around as a backup winch and as uh, some way to stabilize them as they're winching down the hill. So we'll see if we can make it happen. I carried max tracks down there and there was nowhere to put them. So we'll see what happens. We're headed around now. Uh, so we got Dan, Andrew's behind him, and uh, Hilma. Lee's in the Subaru, and the Jeep's behind him. I'm just gonna go right past this slush. Oh, what a mess. It's all up in my brakes and rotors. That one looks good. This one, however. <laughs> Having fun? Tons. Actually, no, because we couldn't get it out on the first try. But yeah. I'm letting the, uh, the geniuses up there do it. I'm doing a lot of hard work. There's this button over here called yeah. In and Out. <laughs> it's pretty hard for You need to move the max track? Straighten up. Straighten up. Other way. There you go. This is the hardest core anyone's ever wheeled an Look at that. There you go. 